fighting for closure one short sale at a time. CBC's Diana Olick is on the home front, and she explains a strategy that's helping troubled homeowners and savvy investors. Need to sell your house now? Call 1-800-CASH-OFFER. In today's market, this may sound too good to be true, but it's one of the fastest growing investment opportunities around, and it's actually saving some Americans from foreclosure. The dramatic increase in foreclosures has caused our investors to have to really focus on doing short sales. Brandt's company matches investors with distressed yeah. homeowners who want to do what's called a short sale. And that's where they go to the lender and say, uh, we know that this is a long, drawn-out process. It takes a long time and is very expensive for you uh, will offer less than the loan balance for the house but you don't have to foreclose more banks and lenders are responding knowing that the costs of foreclosure and carrying a house on their books in a down market far exceed selling off the loan at a loss most investors will ask for a discount of anywhere from 30 to 45 or 50 percent off of the full market value of the house repaired do I make uh, you know millions of dollars at this point No. do I make a good living absolutely Dave Alzadeh invests in short sales. He signed up with 1-800-CASH-OFFER, and for a fee, they refer calls to him. I buy low and sell low. Alzadeh is now getting upwards of 200 calls a month. I've been hugged after settlements for, for helping people out of their situation. And do I make a profit? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm in business to do. The only trouble with the short sale now is that banks are accepting so many more of them, apparently they're having trouble handling all the volume. But on the bright side, one hurdle to the short sale has been removed. Congress passed the Mortgage Relief Act, which removes a tax penalty for homeowners who sell their homes for less than their mortgage debt. The IRS used to tax mortgage forgiveness as income. Diana Olick, CNBC Business News.